Good morning, I'm Miss Constance and welcome to Nature Basket. Today we will be talking about trees. I'm going to start out by reading the book, The Busy Tree. I am a tree, a busy tree, come and see. These are my roots, winding and long, they anchor and feed me and help me grow strong. Look at my acorn, shiny and round, nibbled by chipmunks who scratch at the ground. Here is my trunk where busy ants scurry, searching for food as they march in a hurry. This is a spider that lives in my bark, spinning a web from dawn until dark. A woodpecker scratches, eager to munch, tapping for bugs it will eat for lunch. Visit my hollow, that is a home, to an owl, he sleeps all day long, then at night he starts to prowl. These are my branches, leafy and high, a sidewalk for squirrels that soar through the sky. One of my branches cradles a nest, a cozy warm home where new hatchlings rest. Look at this small twig that holds a cocoon, protecting a moth that will emerge soon. Hear my green leaves as they shake in the wind, breathing out air for all to breathe in. These are my boughs that creak, bend, and sway, shading the children below as they play. A boy finds an acorn, a shake from my top, among the autumn leaves that swirl as they drop. A girl plants a seed. It grows towards the sky, taller and strong as seasons pass, by becoming a tree, a busy tree, come and see. Done. Now I'm going to let Miss Laura talk to you about identifying trees. Hello everyone. We're here at Keener Park talking about trees. Our first tree is a sassafras tree and it's unique because it has three different leaves. So it has the regular shaped leaves, it has mitten leaves, and it has fork leaves. So that's an easy way to tell this tree. It has some special uses. You can make tea out of it, or if you dig up the roots, you can make it into root beer. So this is our root beer tree. Our next tree is a black cherry tree. And it has little berries that the animals like, and it's also great for making furniture. So you might even have something in your house that's made out of cherry. Our third tree is this one right here. It is our cedar tree. And unlike the other trees, it keeps its leaves all year round. Just like your pine tree, it's an evergreen. But unlike your pine tree, its leaves are very soft and not prickly. And it is also great for making furniture because the bugs don't like the way it tastes so they won't eat your furniture. And our final tree is this one over here. It is an oak tree. And an oak tree can have two different kinds of leaves. So this is a red oak because it has pointed leaves. And if you have rounded leaves, they're white oaks. And oaks are also great for making furniture, but the best part is they have acorns which feed all the little animals that live here at Keener Park. I hope you enjoyed looking at these trees and can come visit us sometime and look at the trees yourselves. Back to you, Constance. So today we are going to make a tree craft. All you will need from home is paper, colored pencils, crayons, and some glue. Um, you will go outside to like your backyard and you will go up to a tree and you'll take the crayon or colored pencil and rub the bark and it will make an imprint like this and then you'll also just need to collect some leaves from your backyard as well once you do that you can go inside and you will glue the leaves onto the impression of the tree bark and you will have made your own tree after you're done, we would love to see what you've made. So if your parents would like to take a picture of your craft and post it to social media, we would really like to see that. Um, thank you again.